5.7 by 28 millimeter is a contentious cartridge. While some swear by it, others denigrate it as glorified 22 Magnum. Enough shooters fall into the former camp, however, that Ruger recently decided to add one more firearm chambered for the cartridge to the catalog. Based on the Ruger 5.7 pistol, the company's first foray into 5.7 by 28 millimeter, the new Ruger LC carbine features the same controls and mags, but is now in a carbine configuration. The brand. Sturm Ruger & Company Inc. is one of the nation's leading manufacturers of rugged, reliable firearms for the commercial sporting market. With products made in America, Ruger offers consumers almost 800 variations of more than 40 product lines. For more than 70 years, Ruger has been a model of corporate and community responsibility. Their motto, Arms Makers for Responsible Citizens, claims to echo commitment to these principles as they work hard to deliver quality and innovative firearms. The new LC Carbine the Ruger LC Carbine is legally classified as a rifle due to its 16.25-inch barrel, allowing the guns to ship with proper adjustable folding stocks. In theory, the extra barrel length will also increase the velocity and usable range of 5.7 by 28 millimeters. The rear of the carbine is compatible with both AR-style and Picatinny rail-mounted stock designs and features a reversible folding mechanism. This allows the stock to be folded to either the left or the right side of the receiver making this lightweight carbine even more ideal for activities like backpacking. To further save weight, the barrel has been fluted as well, bringing the total weight of the package to only 5.9 pounds. Ruger President and CEO Chris Killoy said this about the new 5.7 carbine. I can't describe how ergonomic the LC carbine feels in your hands. You have to experience it on the range to really appreciate how it balances and moves. The controls are intuitive and conveniently located, and the lack of felt recoil makes it hard to put down. Other features Other features of the LC Carbine include an ambidextrous 1911-style manual safety, a reversible charging handle, several QD sling pockets, and a half by 28 threaded barrel. It also sports an aluminum handguard with M-Lock accessory slots and a full-length Picatinny rail for mounting optics. A set of Ruger Rapid Deploy folding iron sights are included as well. The 5.7 by 28 mm is quite an interesting cartridge. Developed in the 80s at the behest of NATO as an intended replacement for the long-lived 9x19 cartridge, 5.7 promised to have a better range, better accuracy, greater capacity firearms, and better terminal performance, even against lightly armored targets. However, almost 40 years later, the 5.7x28mm cartridge is still somewhat obscurity, with very few firearms being chambered for it in comparison to 9mm, which has seen vast improvements and widespread adoption by law enforcement, military, and civilians. However, despite all this, 5.7 by 28 mm isn't gone yet, and now we're receiving this new firearm for the hot little cartridge in the form of the new Ruger LC Carbine. 5.7 by 28 mm enthusiasts out there will note that the 16.25 inch barrel length far exceeds the optimal 10 inch barrel length that the cartridge was designed around. This should prove to be a boon to both velocity and terminal ballistics, theoretically increasing the range that you can effectively use the cartridge. We'll obviously be doing some chronograph tests to see how this pans out in the real world. A couple of other cool features that the Ruger LC Carbine has have entirely to do with its nearly 100% ambidextrous nature. Most of the controls, including the charging handle, mag release, safety, and even the direction that the stock folds can be changed to, suit either left- or right-handed shooters. It uses the same 20-round mags as the Ruger 57. This should come as no surprise as astute observers should immediately recognize the telltale design elements of the pistol being used as the basis for the grip of the LC carbine. Compact Nature The gun's compact nature is due to the fact that Ruger engineers built the carbine using a bolt-over-barrel design. Additionally, the gun feeds from Ruger's 5.7 steel mag, which is housed in the grip, thereby saving on additional length since there is no separate mag well. Finally, to ease storage and transport, the LC carbine is equipped with a side-folding stock that's adjustable for length of pull. Built with Ruger's secure action fire control mechanism, the LC Carbine uses a protected internal hammer, as well as a trigger blade safety. Other controls include an elongated thumb safety and a single-sided bolt catch, as well as a single-sided mag release lever located in the traditional position just to the rear of the trigger guard. Each LC Carbine ships with a set of Ruger's rapid deploy folding sights, adjustable for windage and elevation, and a full-length Picatinny rail running along the top of the gun makes it easy to mount optics. The guns ship with a single Ruger 5.7 mag, and the suggested retail price is $979. Compatibility Speaking of compatibility, the new 5.7 by 28 meter Ruger LC Carbine 
feeds through the grip using the same steel mags and controls as the Ruger 5.7 pistol. That's why it is introduced as the ultimate range companion. The carbine features Ruger's proven secure action fire control mechanism as the pistol too. The secure action system combines a protected internal hammer with a bladed safety trigger that has a short, smooth pull, clean break, and positive reset. The manufacturer ensures that even when using typical 40 grain 5.7 by 28 millimeter jacketed bullets, the carbine's felt recoil is comparable to a 22 LR. The 1911 style manual safety is ambidextrous. Other safeties include an integrated trigger safety, lightweight firing pin, neutrally balanced sear with significant engagement, and strong spring tension and hammer catch to help prevent the hammer from contacting the firing pin unless the trigger is pulled. Made in the USA of strong and lightweight materials, the Ruger LC carbine is ideal for the range, backpacking, small game, or anywhere a versatile and reliable carbine is appreciated. The acquisition, ownership, possession, and use of firearms is heavily regulated, though. Some models may not be legally available in your state or locale. Whatever your purpose for lawfully acquiring a firearm, know the law, get trained, and shoot safely. Much testing ahead. Although it may not be the prettiest firearm we've seen come out of Ruger's factories, on paper at least, the new Ruger LC Carbine looks to be a great firearm worth taking a look at, especially if you're already an owner of the Ruger 57 pistol, which uses the same mags. With a longer barrel than is normal for the 57 by 28 mm cartridge, and one of the most ergonomic designs out there, the Ruger LC Carbine should make for a great varmint hunting rifle that is compact and lightweight enough to pack around the homestead. A little about the Ruger 57 pistol. If you have Ruger's previous 5.7 pistol, then the fact that you can use the same cartilage for this one is surely a plus. The patent for the 5.7 pistol was submitted in 1993, three years after the FNP90 submash gun and 5.7mm cartridge were introduced. However, the 5.7 pistol was delayed internationally until 2000. Commercially, the US market didn't receive the semi-auto PS90 and 5.7 until 2004. And by then, a number of police agencies and special forces units in other parts of the world were already using variants of them. Early loads of the 5.7mm round quickly put the cartridge and the partnership between FN and Federal, the exclusive distributor of FN's private label ammunition, in the media's crosshairs after the Brady campaign noticed certain rounds could penetrate level 2A Kevlar vests. Since FN only offers 5.7 sporting rounds that won't pierce armor to civilians such as the SS-197R, a conventional jacketed lead core projectile with polymer tip. Two separate attempts by the Brady campaign to ban the guns through Congress failed. We may have a problem because this pistol speaks hunting to us. The Ruger 57 would be medicine for armadillos, badgers, and groundhogs. The FN load with the Hornady VMAX bullet traveling at 1,725 FPS would simply devastate them. If you don't yet have this pistol or are considering this pistol for self-defense, we'd say that it is a home run in the shootability category. With minimal recoil, less than most 9mm pistols, and great capacity, the Ruger 57 could be a great choice for those reasons. Penetration against two-legged threats may be an issue given the small 40 grain bullets, but 20 rounds of 5.7mm could change the course of violence against you. The Ruger 57 retails for $799. The new LC Carbine is $1,000 for comparison, which may seem steep for a pistol to many, but keep in mind that before it hit the market, the FN 57 it rivals was near $1,400 at the counter. Today, the 5.7 has been given a price adjustment, but owning that version will still set you back $1,199. Coming back to the Ruger LC Carbine. A full in-depth review should be coming. Obviously, we want to know how reliable it is, how accurate it is, and just how handy the rifle is, but we'll also be taking a closer look at its internals to see how Ruger implemented their bolt-over-barrel design to keep the Ruger LC Carbine's design so short. As always, we'd like to hear your thoughts and comments on this new firearm. What are your expectations of it? Would you have gathered Ruger to release this as a pistol first with a 10-inch barrel rather than a rifle? Is $1,000 too much to ask for what you're getting? That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.